Hi, this is Swan from Swan Amity Studios, and we are making our bag for the Summer Scrap Elimination Week 5. It can feel tricky to put the side in your bag. So as you are adding in the side to your bag, how do you get around those corners and add the side in and get everything to still look good with your binding? As you come across the top of your bag, you're going to stop your binding at the 3 8 inch from the edge mark. So I mark that 3 8 inch, stop, back stitch at least four or five stitches, and then treat it just like I would the corner of a quilt. I'm going to bring my binding at a 45 degree angle and keep it straight in line with the side of the bag. I'm then going to take the side panel of my bag and with the insides of the panel and the insides of the bag together, I'm going to line up the already bound top of the side panel with the top of the bag. And I'm going to put a little pin in there so it stays where I want it to be. I'm then going to take the edge of the binding and bring it over the top of the side panel and pin that into place as well. And now I'm going to stitch down the side. And I'm going to start from the top just like I would with the corner of a quilt. So starting from the top, you'll have a little bit of bulk. So if you want to start a little bit past the very top of the bag, stitch a few stitches and then reverse into the top of the bag. Often that's going to be easier on your machine to reverse towards that bulk and then continue stitching. I'm stitching as I would a regular binding. I like to stitch them 3 eighths of an inch from the raw edge of the piece. I'm going to stitch all the way down the side, checking to make sure every once in a while that I'm still well lined up with the raw edges of the side panel and the large portion of the bag. As we come down to the bottom of the bag and we get close to the bottom of the side panel, we want to go ahead and mark 3 8 inch from the bottom. I like to cut a little piece of cardstock that I know is 3 8 inches in width so that it's easy for me to do that instead of having to always get my ruler out. Now I'm going to stitch right up to where I've pinned the marking of the 3 8 inch. And I'm going to back stitch just a little bit and then I'm going to come back to that. I'm going to go ahead and break thread. And then once again, we're going to treat this like we would treat the corner of a quilt. We're going to turn the side panel so that it lines up with the edge. The bottom of the side panel lines up with the edge. As you're putting in the last side panel, this can feel like it's um, a little tricky. You have to kind of play with the fact that the bag is beginning to take on a form and now it's a little harder to maneuver. I'm going to put a little pin in those edges so they stay together while I move the binding into place. And then we're going to treat that binding once again like a corner, bringing it 45 degrees out to the side so it's in line with what we're about to stitch on the bottom, and then folding back on itself once again, just like the corner of a quilt, 
and you can see we've made that little corner there. Put a pin in that so that it stays where it belongs. And once again, I'm going to start about here. I'm going to reverse into the corner and then I'm going to stitch back along the base to do the final corner.